it's blue. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the VidCon videos because I sure enjoyed making them. Probably not in the exact same way that y'all enjoyed them, but I enjoyed going to VidCon. So as um, alliteration bunch of numbers would say, I am in a post-VidCon depression. I miss it, but I'm tired of seeing all the recaps on YouTube. They just play the same clips about a hundred times. And over and over. Trent and I got up at like 7 o'clock uh, most days, so we could be in like the front row of everything happening. We got in a lot of other people's videos. The Shaytards. The Station. I Justine. Hi, I'm Ron. Uh, Rootenberry. CTFXC. Is it a good idea to microwave this? I got to meet a ton of fantastic people, and I got tons and tons of swag. I got this. Signed by, that's Shay Carls, and that's Katie Lett right there. My iPhone itself, I don't know if y'all can see it, but just so you know, my iPhone has been signed by Lisa Nova. Eat your heart out. That's me and Olga K. My personal favorite piece of swag is this. You don't like pink, blue. But see, this particular pink kitty cat has been signed by my moosh mama, Olga K. I have proof that she gave it to me and I didn't steal it. That's me in the front. That's Olga K. And these are the other nine people who received one. That's Big Trenton. So yeah, VidCon was fun. Thank you so much. Everybody I met there, I love you guys. It was amazing. So my little sister's going to college. Woo, college! She had a brand new Mac laptop. There's, we had this old computer that was just upstairs, just sitting there collecting dust. So what were we going to do with it? I know what we're going to do with it. So. That's my ginormous monster computer that runs about the speed of light. I love it. And um, I got new video software. I have Sims. I have the internet. Who could ask for more? I certainly couldn't. So I've got a lot of new ideas that are going to happen with my vlogs now that I have a decent computer and video editing software. So I actually want to do book reviews. So today, we're going to do our first book review. And the first book I want to start out with is Sale by James Patterson. Right there. Y'all yeah. will notice I don't have the desk cover because I hate desk covers. I feel like they get in the way, so I end up just taking them off and losing them somewhere along the way. If y'all have never read a James Patterson book, you really need to. It's an easy type of read without being childish. I really like a lot of his stuff, but lately he's kind of gone downhill for me. Honestly, I picked up this book because it just had James Patterson's name on it. He writes a lot of other books that I like, and I was like, oh, well, I need a mildly entertaining book for a trip. I don't even, I think I was going to Switzerland. This book is basically about a very rich family who decide to take a boating trip, and from there, all hell breaks loose. Really and truly, though, I didn't like this book at all. The story, the, really, the, the meat of the story was just completely lost. I, I liked this book because of the writing and because it was James Patterson. I didn't like it because the story was nothing but build up and explaining why they were in the situation and why they were taking the boat trip. Yeah, their, you know, boat blew up and everything and they ended up stranded on an island and they got over all of their problems or whatever, but Basically, that was it. It was boring. I didn't, I didn't enjoy the story. I didn't care about the characters. Didn't care about them at all. I would probably give this book out of a scale from 1 to 10, probably about a 3. Meaning, I only own it so I can complain about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Woo! That was dumb.